Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Express Effects. So today's video we have a 2015 Ford Transit 250. This car has a serial transmission. We're gonna show you today how to change transmission fluid for this car. So I got a, a pump from Amazon, electric pump. I was gonna be drain the fluid and I have the pocket to collect my fluid. And this one has a hose. So this car came with seal transmission, no dipstick. And we can tell there's no dipstick for uh, transmission. It's only uh, for the oil. The fluid we're gonna use in today, we're gonna use in Max Life. We need one gallon from, of Max Life. So let's show you what I need to do and what tools gonna use to drain that fluid. So we are in the need of the car. First thing we need, we need a pump, hand pump to add the fluid back. And we need a number 19 to unscrew the bolt for the transmission. So the transmission between engine and transmission, the bolt for the, to drain the fluid. Let's show you guys where is location. Is right back guys see here so number 19 remove it and sides of it there is a uh, dipstick okay okay guys so number 19 and you have to put it on the top right here to show you see right there so this is for the seal transmission so we have to unscrew that one now. Okay. Okay, we'll loose it. There we go. See the dipstick? This is the dipstick for the transmission. There we go. So we'll get the pump now and put the hose inside of the, the place for the dipstick side. We'll drain the fluid. So get the line for the pump and hook up to the place. Yeah. Hook up to the place. Right there. And now we got to turn the pump on. Yes. Turn on. There we go. Now we gotta turn the pump. From there to there. In the machine. The right lines. It's really the machine is really cheap from Amazon, like 50 bucks. And directly to the transmission. And we suck the fluid. And whatever the transmission comes out, we gotta add the same thing to the transmission. So we finished draining the transmission. Now we'll remove the holes from the place. Right there. And I got exactly four coats and half. So I have the max life here. This is, has uh, four quarts transmission fluid. So we gotta add uh, uh, one uh, coat. Let's take, you see? We we'll have quarter extra until the flow starts coming from the top, and we're done. Okay, now I got the the pump hand on my hand layer here. I put the sides on the top right there, and this side here. We gotta go to the transmission. We gotta start pumping.
Let's make sure. So flow start coming from the top. Okay, my transmission gets full now.
And that's the depth set for the bag to match the flow. As much as four. So I add one gallon, so transmission is full for now, but we gotta start in the car and shift it and we gotta add fluid more if the car needs some. So we have to do, we have to put dipstick like that to the plug, then go to the top and put it to the place and tie it. And we start the car and shift it. And we gotta check the fluid back until the transmission gets hot and we know if the car needs some more transmission or not. Stay with me. So the step we do here, we have to shift the transmission so the fluid circulates on the old gears. So for each gears, 10 seconds, you have to wait for 10 seconds for each gears, reverse, drive, natural, and like that, this, like that, how you shift the fluid, make sure the fluid goes to the gears. And when the transmission gets hot, we gotta go check the fluid level. Okay, the car after the car gets hot now, so we gotta go check the the transmission level. Stay with me, I'm gonna show you. Okay, now it's time to check the transmission level. And go on like so. You can do it with the car off because the car is going to be so hot. Okay. Remove the dipstick sides. So all we need, we need just the dipstick. We don't need the plug, so we need just the dipstick. Wipe it out, wipe up the fluid. Like that, it's clean. So what we got to do now, we got to put it in place to check the transmission level. Okay, like that. And transmission level is full. See guys, transmission is level is full, so it means it's good. So put it back, put it back to the place, and puts the, the plug back to its place here, on the top of it. And tie it, it's good. And we're done. Easy job, guys. Almost 40 bucks job. And a lot of people they get up saying, oh, why do you not change transmission filter? Transmission filter for this car is really hard, guys. Look here, look here, look at all this one here. It's really difficult to change transmission filter on this one. This is why drain and fail is the easy way. There we go. So we're done. So guys, if you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel to see more tricks. See ya.